Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Computer Science and Engineering Workshop. This is your host, Dick Auden, speaking. And in today's video, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking a look at what Caesar Cipher algorithm is, and then we're going to be implementing it using the C programming language. So without further ado, let's jump straight in. So I actually prepared this little example here to uh, explain how it works. So let's assume that we have the plain text of um, Hello World here with a shift value of three. So what we're gonna do for each character is that we're gonna take the character located in the alphabet and then shift it three times. By shift it, I mean we're gonna be um, taking the, um, the third next character and then we're gonna be writing it down for our cipher text. So what we have here is for H, we have H, I, J, K. So the third next character, K. For E, we have F, G, H. So we have H. Uh, for L, uh, what we have is L, N, N, O. So it's going to be O, O again, because it's an L. For O, it's going to be O, P, Q, R. So it's an R. Uh, we have a space here. Uh, for W, it's going to be W, X, Y, Z. Um, so Z. <coughs> for, uh, for O, it's going to be R again, we have another O. For L, it's O again. And for D, it's going to be E, F, G, so it's G. And then when we want to uh, decipher this text, uh, given that we uh, know the shift value, what we're going to do is we're going to shift it backwards. So uh, say for an example, this K is going to be J, I, H. So it's gonna, the K is an H. And then we have an H here, so that H is going to be an E, O, N and L, so it's going to be L. Uh, for R, it's going to be R, P, Q, P, O, so it's an O. For Z, it's going to be Y, X, W, so it's W, R, O again, U. T, S, R, so it's going to be R. Another O again, it's going to be L. And then for G, it's going to be F, E, D, so it's going to be D. So without so since you, uh, assuming that you understood how the algorithm works, I would like to now continue with the implementation. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to be opening a new, creating a new project in Visual Studio. It's really good software. Totally recommend it. So the first order of business is to create our C file. So we C here. And then what I want to have, and then what I have is, um, Include a um, include the standard input output here, and then below this we're gonna have the have our int main, and then inside of this int main function we're gonna be doing the whole cipher part. But first, uh, what I like to do when I uh, implement this, or at least as an example of the implementation, I like to do a function to uh, detect which character is going into the cipher text. So. Well, what I would do is I would write a function is uh, called Caesar cipher not Caesar char, and uh, inside of this function we'll be taking a parameter one character and then a shift value as an integer. So here um, we need two arrays, so one plane, uh, two arrays of characters which are strings basically. So A B C D E F G. So there we go. Now we have the 26 characters of the English alphabet, and we're going to be doing it, doing the um, same thing for the um, cipher text part. But the difference is going to be that um, that all of these are going to be in uppercase uh, because they're the cipher. Text, so eight. Below this, what I want to do is um, I want to have an integer i. This is going to be our counter value for the loop that we're going to have later on. And then the index value of the uh, character that we're going to be receiving. This one, we're going to be using it to um, store the index value of this character in this uh, string. So let's go. So uh, And below this, I want to have a Boolean value. It's going to be important later on, and we're just going to set it um, 
equal to false, except, uh, oh, I see, yeah. so uh, apparently I forgot to uh, <laughs> include the boolean library. That's uh, my bad over there. But uh, let's get going. So I'm just gonna have a counter control loop here for i equals zero, i less than 26, since we have 26 letters in the alphabet, and i plus plus, actually, no, not i plus plus, hold on. <laughs> i minus equals minus one. So this is basically gonna um, decrease the counter uh, value by uh, minus one, so it's gonna be incrementing it by one. I don't know, I just you don't know, think it looks nice. <laughs> A friend of mine actually taught me that. Anyway, let's continue. So if we um, <coughs> find the character we're given in the uh, plain string, plain text string, what's gonna happen is that our Boolean value of B is gonna be set to true because we found this character inside of this, which means that we can actually shift it. Uh, if this character we have here is, say, for a, a space or, I don't know, a number or a non-alphabetic character, what it's going to do is that we're just going to be ignoring that. <coughs> anyway, so uh, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to be storing the um, index value of the character that we just found. And below this, if we uh, found this character, what we're going to be uh, doing is that we're going to be returning the um, cipher character of, uh, so let's see, it should be index plus shift mod um, 26. Uh, let me actually explain this real quick. So let's take the hello world as an example, right? So we have the character H and we have a shift value of three. So what happens here is that um, the H is the eighth character of the alphabet. We're shipping it by three mod 26. So it's going to be 11. So what we do here is we take the 11th letter of the alphabet, which will be K. But let's assume that, um, let's say that we have a Y instead of um, an H. So the Y is the 25th character of the alphabet, and we have a shift value of 3, mod 26. So what's going to happen here is that it's going to return us 2, which will be B. Uh, why do we do this? Because uh, when we run out of characters in the, in the alphabet, what we want to happen is we want to come back here to the beginning. So this little formula here basically helps us with that. So yeah, let's continue. And if we haven't found the character, as I said, if it's a, a space, a number, or a, uh, a non-alphabetic character, or an uppercase in, in our case, What's going to happen is that it's just going to return the character itself, uh, not doing anything. So now let's get to the ciphering part. Now we want to have a uh, blank text, a length, let's say, um, I don't know, 15. Actually, let's just make it hello world. And then we just want to have a cipher text string to uh, store it in. And then I'll continue. Okay, so what I'm gonna, oh, before I forget, int i as a counter value for the loop, so for i equals zero, i less than, let's say 15, and then, um, what else actually, um, i plus plus, I can't believe I actually forgot this part, <sighs> whatever. Okay, so inside of this loop, what I want to do is I want to Call ciphertext. I want to say um, ciphertext i, and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to say the uh, store the character that is returned to me from the Caesar char uh, function inside of this um, ciphertext string uh, or character arrays. Uh, basically the same thing, but yeah, let's continue. So plain text i, and then let's have a shift value of three just to check if we did everything right. So I'm just going to say exit zero and then we're just going to run the function to uh, run the code to see if we did everything right so if we did everything right so we may have forgotten to print them out which is a, a bit of an issue but we can fix that pretty quickly so i'm just going to say plain text here copy this 
in the blue it's just gonna um, print the cipher text here and then we'll try to see it again what is in there right now cipher text It's supposed to be printf, not print. This isn't Python. I'm so sorry about this little thing. Uh, so hello, I should actually just uh, print it out a new line after this. God dang it. There we go. So if we check it from the example we just made, uh, cores work. Yep, they are the same. So. Let's just um, <coughs> change the shift value to something like, I don't know, 5 to try it out again. And there we go. So anyway, guys, this is it for today's video. Uh, I hope that, um, that it was helpful to you if you found the video helpful or uh, informative in any regard. Uh, a like and subscribe would help uh, greatly. And uh, yeah, thank you for your time. Uh, this is Dekka Ottoman from CC Workshop. And uh, see you in the next one.